Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for the worst songs of 2022. It's probably going to be the part one video, of course, because there's a lot of songs I got to cover ground on in this uh, worst songs of 2022. It's not as much as what the best songs of 2022 is going to be, but it is half of it, of course. So... We're going to start from number 30 and end all the way to 1 if we can get to 1, of course, in this video. If not, we'll just I'll just have to do a, another part or so, probably one or two more parts. But I'm going to discuss from 30 to whatever number I get to for this first part of Worst Songs of 2022 video and let you know my thoughts on... Sorry, my neck was getting to me a bit. I thought I had to pop it or whatever. Uh, and I'll let you know my thoughts on what the worst songs of 2022 are so let's dive into spot number 30 which is shine down sure is fun now this song sucked in my opinion i it kind of brought the rating down for planet zero when i listened to the album it's not the best album this year but hey Shine Down Planet Zero was average, in my opinion. It's not their best work, uh, but I think Attention, Attention, in my personal opinion, had better songs to offer with that track, with that album, I meant to say. But still, there were some strong songs from Planet Zero, but other than that, they did have some cringy lyrics from their new songs and all that so it, it is what it is so at number 30 i picked shine down sure is fun i don't like the tune for the song the melody to the song it just sounds too much like a 21 pilots ripoff kind of song and i'm like are you fucking kidding me shine down you're coming up with this bullshit so brent smith's song pretty good and it is just there wasn't much to offer with the track because the melody was corny as shit and just the lyrics are just not very good. So at number 30, I picked Shine Down with Sure is Fun. Number 29 is Charlie XCX with Baby. Now, I didn't like this song, but it was on an album that I did like, sort of. Uh, it's not her best song from the new album Crash, but it's... A sort of disappointing song, but still, uh, it just repeats itself with Baby and then just the auto-tune in this track with the Charlie XCX vocals. It's alright, but I wouldn't call this the best song from her new album, Crash. It's one of the weakest songs, so number 29, I picked Charlie XCX with Baby. At least it's not on my lower list of the worst songs of 2022. Because we'll be getting to that in due time. So, number 28 is AJR with the DJs crying for help. This song was just utter trash. I just wasn't crazy for this song. Anything that AJR puts out is going to be bad. It's so predictable. Like, every time they put out a new song or a new single or maybe another single during the year, it just doesn't work. It does not connect with me. These songs are shit that they make. So the lyrics go, everyone's laughing at me, and I'm like, gee, I wonder why. Because, uh, Jack, you're just coming up with just cringy lyrics for most of your songs. And it's just, the title itself is kind of stupid and ridiculous. So, and just doesn't make sense either. So, it... <sighs> It's a disappointing song. I think melody-wise it did alright, but other than that, there were some production problems in this track and some mixing problems and also Jack's lyricism that he comes up with in this song is not very good. And the other two brothers of his just don't offer enough with this track. So, at number 28, I picked AJR with DJ... The DJ is crying for help. It's not the worst song this year, but it is pretty bad. Uh, number 27 is Ghosts with 20s. Now, I was really disappointed with Ghost in this one because I like Ghost. They're a pretty good band, but with this they offered, it had cringy lyrics. 
Like, the melody was weird, too, as well. I wouldn't say the melody was great, but it had some weird, cringy vibes. And the lyrics were probably the worst of it all to ruin this song. So at number 27 is Ghost with 20s. Tobias Forge's lyricism in this track, I just couldn't feel for. And But the album Impera was pretty good. It just had one disappointing song off the album. And that was the downside to it, but still. Number 27 was Ghost with 20s. Number 26 is Thornhill with Valentine. This song was boring as shit, and I couldn't hear how the lead singer was singing it. I think his name's Jacob, if I remember correctly. I'm just not connecting with Thornhill's music, to be honest. It's just a bunch of crap, in my opinion. I've tr I have tried getting into them. There were some songs I did enjoy from their new album, Heroin, but I wasn't a fan of Heroin. It's just the overall sound to the album just didn't perform very well. The mixing and production was pretty off. And just the way the lead singer is singing, I think his name's Jacob, if I remember correctly. Sorry about that ding, that's my phone or whatever. Um, my phone does that sometimes. But pretty much, number 26 is Thornhill with Valentine. This was one of the worst tracks that's on the new album, Heroin. And there's probably some others that are pretty average to disappointing number 25 is avril lavigne with boys live featuring machine gun kelly this song was a bunch of bullshit it's just uh machine gun kelly didn't have anything to offer with this track his vocals are still samey meaning it's just monotoned and just he, he tries too hard to make it sound good and it's not good his vocals suck and Avril Lavigne had to put him in a song of hers. And it didn't do very well. <laughs> so at number 25 is Avril Lavigne with Boys Live featuring Machine Gun Kelly. I just wasn't a fan of this song and it made it on my worst songs. Now at number 24 is David Guetta and BB Rexa. I'm good. Parentheses blue. Now this was a so an unoriginal song. It was from an artist that did this kind of music, the I know, Abba Di, Abba Die kind of thing. It, it was just gibberish music at the time. It wasn't the best, but hey, it was catchy with the melody. And yes, this song does have good lyricism. Some of the, well, I wouldn't say good lyricism. It's just, eh. It's just a party song to have the best fucking night of your life and other things like that. Um, but BB Rexa doesn't offer much. And when I heard the live performance to the song, she didn't sound very good when she was trying to sing, I'm good, kind of thing. It just didn't strike a landing with me and impress me. This track was utter garbage and unoriginal. And they're just ripping off from an older artist that made this song years ago. Uh, it's called Blue, of course. You can go check it out yourself and see what you think of it. It, it has a catchy melody, but the lyrics were mm, a little on the fence with me. But still, this song was bullshit. I couldn't stand it. And yeah, at number 24 is... David Guetta and BB Rexa with I'm Good Blue. Uh, I'd have a little more to talk about it, but you can definitely go check out my track review for it if you want to see it um, that I did earlier this year, or I think a month ago, if I remember correctly. Um, and number 23 is Black Bear with The Idea. Um, this song was just disappointing, and then there's a trap beat at the bridge part of the song that doesn't do shit for me. And it doesn't resonate with me in a way where I really like it. So I'm like, this is, song is just utter garbage. So I think the chorus has some memorable moments. But when that bridge comes in, it just ruins the song. And some of the verses are kind of weak too. So this was a disappointing song. So at number 23 is Black Bear with the idea. I got not much to talk about with this track. It's just a... 
asinine track, in my opinion. Um, number 22 is Avril Lavigne with Love It When You Hate Me featuring Black Bear again. Because I know I just mentioned Black Bear a moment ago. Pretty much this song, there's a lot of Avril Lavigne, Machine Gun Kelly, and Black Bear songs on this list. So I expect to see that on this list because they're probably the worst artists that came out with worst material this year. So, basically... Love It When You Hate Me was disappointing. It just has a trap beat in the verses, and it just doesn't do shit for me. The bass line in the, with that trap beat or whatever in the verses, just, it doesn't do shit for me. It's just like a cringe vibe, and just makes me shake my head or roll my eyes back, like, are you fucking for real? You gotta do this, Travis Barker. And I know he helps Avril Lavigne with the drum work in the album, which he's good at drums, but he shouldn't be behind a mixing board or whatever, or production-wise thing or whatever. So it just doesn't do anything for me. So at number 22, this song was disappointing. Even Black Bear was saying, I've been so depressed, and I'm like, oh, you're just using that as an excuse just to get money for uh, this the profits for this song and all that, so don't say that anymore, please. Because, <laughs> yeah, I know people go through depression sometimes, but it doesn't give you the right to keep over-utilizing that word too much and saying it so much in your songs. It just, no. So at number 22 was Avril Lavigne, Love It When You Hate Me, featuring Black Bear. Number 21 is Justin Bieber with Honest, featuring Don Tolliver. This song was utter garbage. I just couldn't stand Justin Bieber's rapping in it. And this, I like some of his songs his, from the Justice album. It wasn't the best album, but it was pretty good last year. It was better than Changes, and I think he's trying to go back to that era with Changes. And I'm like, please don't, because you really ruined it with that single Yummy. And that was just the worst song of 2020. So, at number 21 is Justin Bieber with Honest featuring Don Tolliver. Even Don Tolliver couldn't save this track, and that was a shame. And his rapping was crap anyway, in my opinion. So, yeah. It is what it is. Number 20 is Weezer with the Sound of Drums. This song was bad. I couldn't stand this track. It just... There's cringe when it comes to Weezer some of the time. Like, not every song of theirs is the worst. This was on the Season Spring EP that came out this year. And personally for me, I was not feeling for that EP. So you can definitely go check out my worst albums of 2022. It's on that list uh, for parts one and two. It's on one of those lists, of course. But for those uh, two videos or whatever, it's probably on one of the videos, I think. But basically, Weezer didn't make a good song with this track, so I was a little tad bit disappointed. So at number 20 is Weezer with the Sound of Drums. Number 19 is The Retaliators, 21 Bullets, featuring Danny Warsnop, Motley Crue, Spencer Charnas, and From Ashes to New. I was just looking at it on my list, of course, if you're wondering why I'm looking down, because I'm looking at it on here, of course. So, yeah, uh, I wrote all this stuff down just to get this ready for you guys and all that. So, basically, The Retaliators' 21 Bullets song was... <coughs> BS. It was bullshit, in my opinion. I couldn't stand this track. It, it just disappointed me. And when I heard uh, just Motley Crue singing in it, it's just like, are you serious? Vince Neil, please, please no. <laughs> the song production and all that was pretty bad, and just the mixing was off. But some of the vocals were not bad, but it just, it wasn't doing much for me, this track. And it just kept going from verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And I know that's part of the thing and all that with every song, but you gotta have it sh good structurally. And this didn't structurally do good. 
in my opinion. So at number 19 is The Retaliators with 21 Bullets, featuring Danny Warsnop, Motley Crue, Spencer Charnas, and From Ashes to New. I'll give Spencer Charnas and Danny Warsnop this. They did very good in this track, but some of the track got ruined by Matt Branberry and all that. And I like him from, from Ashes to New, but it just didn't do much for me, this track. Uh, number 18 is Blackpink with Pink Venom. This was one of the worst songs this year. I couldn't stand this track, in my honest opinion. And uh, when I first heard it, I was getting excited because Rosé and Jizzo were singing pretty well in the pre-chorus to the chorus, of course. And then the chorus was utter garbage with the taste that pink venom, taste that pink venom. I'm like, are you fucking for real? I'm like, you gotta go with that bass drop and then it just doesn't do shit for me. So this was a pretty bad song that came out on their new uh, Born Pink EP or Born Pink album, I meant to say. So at number 18 is Black Pink with Pink Venom. Number 17, this is gonna have to be the last one and then I'll have to return to you for another part. Of course, so this is for Machine Gun Kelly with Nine Lives. This song was bad all around, and I couldn't stand this track, in my honest opinion. And personally, his voice is so bad, and he tries rapping in this track. I'm like, please stop, dude. You're trying to go with this pop punk era now. So if you try reverting back to your rapping with pop punk, it's not going to do shit. It's just going to make your songs even worse. So, please stop trying. And, basically, I hated this song. And if you guys like this song, that's your personal opinion and your choice. Me, personally, I can't stand Machine Gun Kelly. I can't stand his music. I can't stand his voice. And he basically sucks ev at everything. Even guitar work-wise, he can't even play fucking guitar. He just plays one note guitar strings and all that shit. So it's not very good. You gotta at least try to get more practice in, bro, and get more lessons. So at number 17 is Machine Gun Kelly with Nine Lives. I'm gonna mention one more and then I'm gonna end the video. So at number 16 is Papa Roach with Stand Up. This track was bullshit. I couldn't stand this track. The sweat, sweat, stand up, stand up. And then Jacoby Shaddix does this rapping in this track. It just doesn't do much. But the chorus was somewhat strong with his clean vocals. I like it when they do songs where Jacob, Jacoby Shaddix, I meant to say. Jacoby Shaddix, I meant to say. Please forgive me if I said Jacob for a second. Um, Pretty much... This song was pretty bad, but his vocals and the chorus were very good. But when the verses come in, it doesn't do shit for me. So it was a pretty bad song. So at number 16 is Papa Roach with Stand Up. I'm going to have to return to you for part two in a little bit for uh, this premiere video for Worst Songs of 2022. I hope you enjoyed the first part. It's a very long video, of course. I got to make sure I get it done before the 20 minute mark because I can't do it over 20 minutes of course because YouTube won't let me upload videos over 20 minutes but until then stay safe guys take care and I'll see you soon in part two of the next premiere video for worst songs of 2022